G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company down under at Yusong. I've done a bit of work recently on this particular Hilux, and it's a pretty normal Cartoon Company Hilux job. Came in in a bit of a mess, someone had attempted to start the job, they'd stuffed it up, and we've had to fix it and turn out a nice vehicle. Along the way, the customer put a couple of uh, little hurdles in our way, like he turned up with really, really big wheels. And that was, was fun to fit, we got that done. The overall job's come up pretty well. And inside here, it looks just like a Hilux. And it works just like a Hilux. Let's have a look around the cabin before we get out and we check out the outside. No, that way. This way. We have a dash cluster, it all works. Speedo is correct. Taco is correct. We're close enough, the temp gauge works. Airbag system working like it should. With air conditioning, this, you, you, you might not be able to feel it, but this is blowing nice and cold here. Shifter, where it's meant to be. There's some paperwork in here for seat belts and certification. And the ECU's hiding up in there in the standard position. There is a little diagnostic plug here that I can pop out, that I can plug my scan to into. Now I can't put that back in. We're just talking up here, just nice and slow. I really don't want it rolling down the hill. Running or not running? You're going to give it a couple of revs. We'll give it a couple of revs. So this is what she sounds like. Beauty. We we just we just washed it, and then we came down the dusty. So we'll go back and we'll we'll wash it again. Tornado cover on the back like normal. Very subtly tucked in the back. There is the exhaust. There it is up up, up under there. We're running standard diffs front and rear. 33 inch tires. For cert purposes, we had to put these, these little fellas in here to make it all legal because we're not allowed our tread to hang out past our guards. Brakes have been rebuilt because they wouldn't pass. Hilux brakes are always a little bit marginal for cert in New Zealand with the requirements. So the front brakes were rebuilt, pads, new rotors, calipers rebuilt, and we managed to get it past cert really well. I did the exhaust video on this one. So we've just got the big muffler there. Even still got the catalytic converter in there. Extra cross member for that drive shaft hoop and another drive shaft hoop over there. Inside we also put in some different seats. So these are B4 Legacy seats. The driver's seat being electric. And thanks to mounting new seats, you can see the brackets. Almost look standard. We did have to remount the seat belts with doubler plates under the floor to make it legal and as part of the job it had seat belts rewebbed as well Dad? this is a very tall truck and i'm a quite a short person notice when you stand on that you're almost as tall as me <laughs> i am <laughs> thanks that's helpful Engine, non-VVTI 1UZ, aluminium radiator, fan on the front, 
and a fan on the back. As per normal, oil cooler tucked in the front. Can we see it up in, well, oh, we can see it in there behind the bumper. There he is. And that alley radiator hanging out in there. And somewhere in there is that uh, air conditioning compressor. Stock standard computer, but the loom has been redone with that uh, braided stuff there. Also modified it so it doesn't come along the side. Because we do have uh, headers down there. It is quite tight. Intake into a standard, uh, it's actually a 185 surf airbox. Kindly donated by the cheeky prick who's next to me. Petrol. One, two, Petrol, V6. And who are you calling the prick? <laughs> so the four-wheel drive all works like it should. Mike just pushes the button for me. Can push the button. Beauty. The four-wheel drive light clips on. And we have four-wheel drive. Not that we really need it when we're putting along a flat track. Low box works. If we pull it back into low, we don't really need it when we're doing this little uh, flat track again. Whilst it might not be talk as talky as a VVTi, for this sort of stuff, it gets along just fine. Loom has been all modified to go back through so it looks stock standard. So it's going back through the same grommet, that's actually the V6 grommet. This vehicle was the, the V6 petrol version. And all legal there, with a warrant of fitness on the window. ABS system works. We're running our internal release bearing, so there's no external on it with a slightly resized clutch master. Fuel lines and fuel filter, all the standard V6 stuff, slightly modified to suit this engine. And you'll notice the charcoal canister for the engine breathing, the emissions. This box has been modified, and we've added a couple of extra fuses and a couple of extra relays so it all looks standard in that department. This engine didn't actually come with an air conditioning pump, so that's been fitted up. And the standard uh, condenser has been used in the front. To make these big wheels fit, we've had to trim a little bit at the back there. We also fitted big inner guards. So we made up some thick rubber inner guards and hidden under there, of course, is our engine mounts, our race mounts we've made up and the extractors. So this truck, because it had been attempted to be sorted beforehand, and it had sort of been the parts have been cobbled together from different sources that we, we don't really know. The customer brought it, or there was a deal done by, through mates where he's ended up with this truck. And such things as the gearbox was seized, so that's been rebuilt. The engine itself has actually come up pretty sweet, but it, it wasn't too sweet to begin with. It's got the full refresh like we always do to, to produce a, a reliable truck. Fortunately, the drive shaft's actually fitted. And like all of them, there's drive shaft hoops under there to make it all legal. All the normal stuff has been done on the engine as far as cam belt, water pumps and tensioners. Things like the throttle cable, so it remade. So it's, it fits in like it's a standard type one with the center uh, or the inner cable extended a little bit to give us proper free play. The goal with it was to produce a truck that looked like Toyota made it. And I'm actually really happy with the result on this one. It drives well. It's comfortable inside with the different seats. Air conditioning for this hot weather, which is really nice. Fans come on as they should with air conditioning. 
all the dash cluster working. It was actually quite interesting because the first drive home, the speedo was out by 10 kilometers per hour. The big wheels actually brought it to bang on correct. So whilst fitting the wheels was like a day's work by the time I'd cut everything out and build little guards and all the stuffing around I had to do to make it fit and make it so it would pass cert, it corrected the speedo, so that was pretty cool as well. So I think it's time for us to uh, head back to the workshop, give it a clean again, because we've just made it dusty, because it's bloody hot here at the moment. We haven't had rain for a while, so everything's dusty. And we can hand it over to the customer, so he can drive it and enjoy it. Catch you later.